Hi friends, I am going to discuss with you the paper which I have published in International Journal of Engineering Research and Applications. Okay, along with my ME students Raju S. Chinde and Yugandar Chinde, and with my colleague Professor Abdullah Fadnis. Okay, so in the research article with the paper which I have published, that name is Analysis of Multi Choli Breast Frame. Subject, sub, uh, seismic, subjected to seismic and gravity loading and this is of multi breast frame subjected to seismic and gravity loading so main abstract is as we people know that seismic force is very heavy force in the very seismic areas and it causes the very damages various damages to the buildings so here in this article what we have done here we have we are going to plus problem definition. We are going to analyze the linear elastic plane frame analysis is performed for the different models of the building using start analysis packages. The frame members are modeled with the rigid end zones. Equivalent static analysis is performed on the model of the building. Consider in the study, column sizes and the bracing sizes are changed according to loading condition of the story heads. Basically, here we have considered the load combinations given in IS 1893 part 1 2002. So, these are the various load combinations we have considered. And in problem definition, first we have, con we have considered the plane frame, and that plane frame we have considered as bare frame, okay, bare frame which do not have any bracing. So, that frame we called as a bare frame. And this is typical prayer frame and typical A type bread, bread, type A type frame. Me, means here the system of bracing which you have provided that indicating the shape A. And similar to the bracing we have provided which indicating the shape V. And for model used for analysis, for model 1 here we have used the bare frame as usual. And the structural variation here we have to consider the structure from G plus 5 to G plus 11. And Bray variation means this is story, this is ground 1 2 3 4 5 like this we have considered g plus 11 and we have considered the bay, bay variation and bay variation we have considered 3 bay 5 bay and 7 bay and we have changed the depth of the beam and depth of beam here we have considered the steel beam ismb 500 and plate thickness 24 ismb 2 ismb 600 and plane thickness 24 similarly we have considered the second model that a type breast and b type breast okay and we have Consider the we have calculated the these various frames on a star software and we have got the results. The results we have got in terms of the axial forces, shear forces, and the bending moment. So here the here is sample calculation which, which we have given in this paper. So here first we have considered the height and width ratio. Height and width. This is the height of building and width. That ratio we have considered and then we have considered the levels in G plus 5 building, G plus 8 building and G plus 11 building. And for various sizes of the beam, what will the happen? What are the various forces, axial forces that we have noted here? So suppose G plus 5 structure having the height versus width ratio 2.208 and the beam depth, uh, beam, uh, beam depth is ISMB 500 with plate thickness 24 mm. So if we are here for level, file level g plus file level if you are going to consider the force is a one here what we have done we have called axial forces ratios means suppose here value is 100 we have divided that value with 100 and same value we have divided the other values so that's why if initial value you are going to we are going to get one and with respect to this we are going to see the value is increasing or decreasing so here you can clearly see that when when the g plus five building when the beam depth is increasing in the ismb 500 to 550 and 600 the axial force is increasing here so initially force is here in 500 beam is 1 near 1.013 similarly it's 1.029 similarly when you can see here when the story is increasing okay building story is increasing g plus 5 to g plus 8 so that value is doubled actually acting 2.5 times this is 1 and this is 2.49 and this is 4.055 similar we have taken observed the various variation in the shear force like height and width ratio for various structures here we have considered the axial uh, shear force ratios 1 and with respect to this we can see here the values are going to increase similar observations we have made in a bending moment also 
of their building and this these calculations we have done for the bare frame then what happened with the bare fully breast so here we have given some values here so variation observed in the shear force of fully a breast frame and then we have compared the variation observed in bending moment tree bay fully a and then fully v breast frame so like this we have put the results here just we have in, in this paper we have given the sample calculation actually we have done the project one year project on this all type of frames and we have got the various results here you can see the graph show the variation of internal forces for five bay partially breast frame okay and here is variation of shear force the partially based frame means we are not provided the bracing system throughout in the paper in the model so here that system is called as a partial that, that partial for the breast frame we have shown here and what we have variation of the bending moment variation of a lateral displacement so here you can see that when the displacement in mm and this is height of the building when height of building is going to increase the displacement is going to increase that we have observed and this is various types of beams although they are having depth beam ism 500 550 and 600 so here clearly you can see the displacement is going to increase based upon the increasing the height of the building and here what we have concluded here following up the conclusions are drawn on the basis of this analysis carried out for various types of structure about bare frame column segments at a higher level attack the larger axial forces and the beam depth increases these segments are found to be more sensitive to the variation in the stiffness of the beam despite allowing a large variation in the column so as to minimum the lateral dip tall structures are found to be violated the lateral dip criteria specified by IS 8093 for all beams of the same uniform depth at all level up to ISMB 550 the plate thickness 25 mm heavy beams are necessary to limit maximum lateral dip 0.00 as in 12 story structure about what are the observations in A type and V type breast frame axial force in a V breast frame column increases are compared with that the bare frames at frames at A breast frame braces are found to carry the large axial forces compared with the shear forces and bending moment which are insignificantly small also maximum little displacement are found to reduce the drastically as compared with the bare frames end columns in A breast frames are loaded smaller extend as compared to the V breast frame the comparatively saving in material for fully breast frame with A and V type bracing vice versa bare frame is follow so here we can see type of a breast frame A frame and V frame the material saving percentage with compared to the bare frame so when you are going to provide the bracing actually the sizes of column is going to reduce and we can save the material 28.426 percent material we can save if we are going to go through a bracing if you are going to use v bracing about 20 percent is material is going to save about partially breast frames for g plus 5 building arrangement structures that are breast centrally only okay not fully we are not going to provide bracing for the full frame only with the centrally with v type bracing are found to be economical due to reduction in the column cross sections these are more flexible than the fully breast frames but not more rigid than the bare frames and it displacement produced are within permissible limits but in case of a breast frames when second and fourth bay breast it gives more economical than the central breast frame central breast v frames due to the change in the structure so ultimately what we want to say here if you are going to go for the bracing okay instead of the bare frame and there if for optimization if you are going to choose only suppose 5 way, 5 way frame and when you are going to provide only bracing in a second way and a fourth way in a bracing or v bracing we are going to got the economy as well as in a seismic seismic zone the frame the behavior of frame uh, when you are going to consider the various parameter bending moment shear force and displacement it will show satisfactorily this is our aim of aim to perform this project and we have got the satisfactory result and that's why we have